Right. Come and stand up. So whilst we warm up, I will just explain a little bit more about it. So like last week, I've got music on here for me. If you wanted to put music on, you're welcome to. But otherwise, just start walking on the spot for me. So we're going to be doing sort of four or five rounds of exercises, different options, different exercises. Some of them will be to time, some of them will be the number of reps. Bring those arms up. Good, and down. Well done. So there'll be some jumping if you want to, but there'll always be the option not to jump. Keep the hands in front and bring those knees up. Good, keep going, keep doing that for me. Just gonna check, that's it. What do I have to do here? That's it, lovely. Well done, now knee to the side. So you're pulling that knee up, getting a nice inner thigh stretch. Well done. Four more, three more. You're going to step it out to the side for me. Heels to the bottoms. So we get that front of the thighs, little stretch. Swinging the arms still. I did like an arm strength workout yesterday, so I'm feeling very tender in the old pecs. Like this. Oh, that's a big stretch. <laughs> that's all right. You can do all the work. I'll just do all the shouting. Well done, guys. Four, three, two. Keep the same legs, arms go overhead and pull down. Doesn't matter if you don't quite get the coordination of that. We just put the arms overhead to increase the heart rate. Good. Four, three, two. We're going to bend and stretch now. Nice side reach. Well done. Moving ribs away from hips. Lovely. Nice and dynamic. Change it to a punch. So you get a little twist through the torso. Nice. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, nice. Take your arms out to the side. Feet facing forward. Little hinge forward here for me here. And we bounce the body. We make sure the hands are where we can see them. Good. Finding the hamstring stretch. Nice flat back. Well done. Four, three. Good. We put the hands down to the feet. Look back to the knees. Feel the lower back stretching out a little, hopefully. Bend and stretch here. Bend those knees, lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend, lengthen. Four, four, and three, and two, and one. Lean over to the side. Take a nice long stretch for me into a side lunge position. Good. Switch to the other side. Over we go. Just holding here, getting that inner thigh side lunge. And then we'll go side to side, going over it, over it. Nice, good, well done. Reach those hands forward, reach it out in front of your foot. Lovely. Good, four, three, two, and hold. Just look up to your top hand, push into the floor or your foot or your knee, getting a nice twisting stretch. Other side for me, opening up. Good, come back to the center, open those knees, lift that chest. Well done, let's turn to the right foot into a nice long lunge, getting a nice stretch through the hip flexor, gently bouncing here, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring that back leg in, stretching the front leg, nice. Well done. Good. Step it back to a downward dog for me. So you're in. Both legs are lengthened. You're looking back to your knee. Good. Swing it forward. Left leg forward now into your long lunge. Good. And gently bounce here. Two, three, four. Good. Five, six, seven. Now bring the back leg in to straight-ish leg. We can bring your body up a little bit. As much as you need to. 
Good. Bring your feet together. Bring your body over the top. Look back to your knees. And roll your way up, guys. Well done. Take the arms out to the side. Lift them up by the ears. Breathing in. And let it go. Well done. All right. It should feel warmer now. It's horrible and rainy here. So I was a bit cold. So I'm feeling a bit better. First round is going to be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And we're going to do two exercises in that time. So we're going to do 20 seconds of high knees. Okay. If you don't want to run those high knees, you reach your arms up and pull the hand to the knee. We have 10 seconds. Then we come down onto our mat, nice wide legs, and we have shoulder taps. I'll show you at the front as well so that you can see. So those shoulder taps. We stand up, we do the high knees again. That's so we do it all four times. So it's four minutes. We do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. So short bursts, but also short rests. We under all good? All good with those two? So starting with high knees, we're gonna go in three, two, and one. So pumping the arms, little run on the spot basically, bringing the knees up if you can. Remember, you can always take that lower impact option if you wanted to. Ooh. So we've got about three seconds left, two, and one, well done. So 10 seconds to get down into your plank position, ready for shoulder taps. We go in three, two, and one. Tapping shoulder to shoulder. So slowing it down a little bit here, compared to the high knees, drawing our abdominals in, keeping those hips nice and square to the floor. About five seconds left, guys. Good, three, two, and up we get. So we do that all again. Well done. Up the high knees again, going in three, two, and one. Now as we get into the round, you find that you want to do a lower impact option. If you want to reach those arms up and pull the knees in, you're more than welcome to, or you just carry on with those high knees. Good. Three, Two, one, well done, 10 seconds. Again, if we wanted to, we can put those knees down in our shoulder taps. We go in two, in one, off we go. Shoulder tapping, that's it. So we try and keep the hips as square as possible. Try not to tilt side to side, really tricky. The wider the feet, the easier it's gonna be to stay Upright, all done, up we get, we're halfway. Two more times. What I didn't bring was a towel. We go in three, two, and one. So, pumping those knees once again, those knees coming up, doubling, arms helping. Hopefully, well done. Can reach the arms up, pull them down if you prefer to. Two, and we're done. 20 seconds, not long, but 10 seconds rest, not long either. We're into those planks in two, in one. Shoulder taps, keeping the hips square. Well done. Good. Excellent. Keeping upright, keeping that long spine. Three, two, and one, up we come. Last time round for this first Tabata. So we're gonna do this format again, not these exercises again. Off we go, high knees for the last time, good. Done, getting that heart rate up. First thing on a Monday or whenever you happen to do it. Lovely, three, Two and one. Good guys. Last round of shoulder taps. Getting down to the mat. We're going in two and one. Hand to shoulder. That's it. Good. Well done. Last little bit now. 10 seconds only. Superb. 
And we've got four, three, two, and one. Well done. First round complete. Get that water, get that towel as you need. Very well done. Okay, so whilst we're having a little break, next round. Slightly different. So still four minutes long, but for that for each minute, it's up to you how long you're going to work for. So once you've completed the set number of exercises, you rest. So it might be that one round you get five seconds rest, another one you get 35 seconds rest. So it's up to you how fast you move through it. I've planned it so that hopefully it takes about 45 seconds. So you might be a bit quicker, you might be a little bit slower. We start off with a burpee. So burpees, lots of options. If you can, you know, reach your arms up, jump up, Bring your hands down, jump back, jump back in again, okay? Option two is to just reach the arms up on a rise, bring the hands down, step out, step out, in, in, and up we come again, okay? In between each burpee, we're gonna shuffle to the back of our mats, shuffle to the front of our mats. So we reach up, out, in, back, forwards okay just to break up the burpees a little bit we're going to do 12 burpees okay 12 of those in the time the second exercise a bit more simple we lie down we stick that right foot in the air to start and we drive up and down we're going to be doing 30 of these okay so we're really working through the left bottom cheek the first time then we'll get up We'll do our burpees again, we'll do the other side. So four minutes again in total, but you complete the number of exercises. Once you've done your 12, you rest, and then we start the next minute right away, okay? So starting with those burpees, I will set the time so you can do them as fast or as slow as you want to. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. Jumping, stepping, Whatever you want to do, run to the back of the mat, run forwards again. That's it. Good. I'm gonna let you know when we get to 10 seconds left, so you get at least 10 seconds before we do that second exercise. So that's three burpees I've done so far. Woo. Hopefully you can keep count. Well done. Lovely, really nice. That little shuffle back gives you a little breather before reaching up again. Down and out. Well done. Really nice. So if you're nowhere near 12, doesn't matter. We're all going to finish and have a little break in three, two, and one. So pause there for me. Well done. Lying down. We're going to stick that right leg in the air. And we go in two. In one, thrust up, glute bridge, rather than the spine curl, you're pushing up through the left foot. You're counting to 30. So you're quite fast, opening the front of that left hip, finding the sole of the left foot, trying to make sure the left knee stays looking up to the ceiling. It doesn't open out to the left side. Okay, so you're keeping count. Again, I'll let you know when we get to 10 2, unless you finish before then, that's fine. Well done. Driving up, really focusing on that left hip as we continue. Well done, guys. Five more seconds, unless you're finished already. Two and one. Well done. Up we get. It's burpee time again. Five seconds in between. Not long, I know. We're going to go in two. In one, start with the burpee, and then we run back and forwards again. Start with that burpee, running back, running forwards. When you do that burpee, you do all your Pilates training to jump out, draw your abdominals in, not just sinking into your lower backs. Really think when you shoot those legs out, find that lovely flat line, not reverberating. 
with the body. Well done. Nice, guys. Great high energy one, this one. Well, the whole class is high energy. But in particular, <laughs> your burpee. If you haven't finished your 12 yet, don't worry. We're going to finish in two, in one, whatever one we're on. Good, we're getting down to the floor. This time we put that left leg in the air and we do our hip thrusts here. Off we go, driving up and down, lifting up and down. Good. Well done. So a little bit faster than the burpee, smaller range of movement. But as the heart rate's coming down, we're building on those muscles that we've been working, our glute muscles that help us do those jumps. Really nice, guys. Well done. So counting up to three zero for this one. We've got about 15 seconds left, guys. Well done, or unless you finished already, of course. Really, really good. Well done. Five, four, three, two, and well done. Stay lying down for a moment or two. If you'd like to, our second round is complete. Well done. Really good. Excellent job, guys. Grabbing yourself a drink if you'd like one. That's it. Superb. So we're going to go back to the previous format. So we're going back to 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. So we're going to go for two different exercises this time. We're going to go for split squats and skaters. So split squats, we start with one leg in front, the other leg behind. We have the option to switch it in the air, or if we'd like to, we bring the leg up and back. So you keep one foot on the floor all the time. So you're just going quite fast through your split squats. Then you turn to the side of your mat, start at one end, we go for our skaters. If you can, you keep that one foot off the floor. If you need to though, you put the foot down at the back, okay? Keep it low impact. The mat is quite useful and um, to give you somewhere to aim for. So if you start on one end, we want to try and leap to the other. That just gets those inner thighs working, all right? So no counting required this time. So we're doing the 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, okay? Are we ready to go on that one? We're gonna take those split squats. So one foot forward, one foot back. We go three, two, and one. Switching, that's it. Either stepping or jumping, totally up to you, whichever you prefer. Well, I know what I prefer, which is not doing it at all. Good, <laughs> two and one, but it's a short burst, we're done. So we find and line ourselves up one end of the mat, standing on that leg that's closest to that end of the mat, and off we go. Skating side to side, finding the outer thighs to land, the inner thighs to stretch us out. Good. Well done, keeping low, using those arms for balance. Two, one, well done. Into our split squats with a little 10 second break. Three, two, and one, good, well done, nice guys, these are my worst exercises ever, try and put them in, to remind me that I need to do them and we're done, well done, Whoa. good guys, Ooh, we've got two, and one, off we go, leaping, side to side. Nice soft landing, toes and heels, lovely. Good. Excellent. One, we're halfway. 
Gonna do everything again. And then one more time after that. Two and one in those split squats. Good. Powering through the glutes. Done. Excellent, guys. Really nice. Keep those bodies upright. We're done for that penultimate round. Well done. Good. Skaters coming up in two, in one. Out we go. Landing on the whole foot through toe and heel. Good. Swinging those arms. Great. Brilliant, guys. Oh, nice job. In two, in one. All right. Oh, last time. This is a very high intensity round. Well, yeah, high intensity, not high impact necessarily. Off, wing, go. That's it. Last set. Off, split, squat. Keeping the body upright so the legs don't have to carry all the weight. We're done in two, in one. Uh, last round of skaters, guys. That lean forward. Good. Off we go. Over it. Keeping the body forward now. Different to the split squat. That's it, so that we can stay balanced as we move side to side. Nice. Two and one. Oh, what a combination. <laughs> well done. Ah, superb. Well done. All right. Grabbing your waters. Getting your breath back. We return to the format where you need to count. So again, we've got a minute to complete our exercises. I shall show you them. <laughs> that last round took it out of me, as you can hear in my voice. We start off with cross plie squats. So we're into our squat in a plie. So that's knees are turned out, feet are turned out. We bring the legs together and out again. Now, if you can, we're going to cross one foot in front of the other. Again, the extra in the thigh work. If that's too much extra coordination to think about, that's fine. If you don't want to jump them, you can just bring it in and out. You just change which side of the mat you're going to, okay? We're going to aim for 20 of those, two zero. All right, if you're jumping them, you might prefer 30, just because it's a lot faster. If you're stepping them, 20 is probably more realistic. Again, when we get to the 50 second mark, I will stop you regardless, or let you know when that is then happening. We go down to the mat, we've got knee to elbow. So we're bringing alternating knees up to our elbows like that. We do 30, of those. I'll show you from the front again. So we've got one, two, three. So it's not a mountain climber. It's coming around the side like we did in our warm up standing. So that's what we're doing down on the plank, in the plank. Same format. I'll let you know when that time has got to 50, unless you've done your 30 already. All right. Cross plie squats to start. So let's start. One foot crossed in front of the other. We're going to do 30 jumps, 20 steps, or just 50 seconds of work, whichever comes first, whichever ends first. We go in three, two, and one. Good. So this is the last sweaty round, guys. We'll go into our stretch after that. That's it. Well done. I haven't been counting, <laughs> so I've been talking, but hopefully... You are counting. I'm going to stop, but don't you stop unless you've managed to do 30 already. Not beyond the rounds of possibility. One more time. Really nice. Good. So we can lean forward a little bit. When we land, those knees press out to the side. 
we get those inner thighs working. Lovely stuff. Really, really nice. We've got a few more seconds left to hit the 50 second mark. If you've done your 30 already, great. If not, stop in two, in one. Well done. Good. We come down to the mat. We do those knee lifts in three, two, and one. So bringing the leg up. Good. Round the side. Good. I'm on 10 now. Doesn't matter if you're not anywhere near or if you're way beyond 10. That's 20. Oh dear. Sweat. Eight. Nine. 30 for me. So you might still be going. If not, give it a rest. Well done. In the nicest sense, not in the rudest sense. Good. So we're going to do it all again in about 15 seconds. Well done. So just enjoying a slightly longer rest from that one. That's the point of these every minute on the minutes. We always keep moving at the start of the minute, but we might have had a longer rest in between. Off we go, cross plies and spin. Done. So absolutely fine to step it across, just bringing one foot in front and sending the bottom back as you go. Lovely. Well done. So nice and low out at the edges, upright in between. Good guys. We're over the 30 second mark. Good. If you've completed 30, take that break. Well done. Otherwise, keep going. Good. We've hit the 50 second mark, so stop definitely now if you haven't already. And we're going to hit the mat for another round of those quick knee drives, bashing the back of the elbow. Off we go. Coming up. That's it for 30 of these. Good. Well done. Excellent job, everybody. I can't see you all, obviously, but I'm sure you're putting in all of the effort. Really, really good. This was the wrong choice of color. The sweat's very, very obvious. <laughs> Not that it matters. I want people to know I've been sweating, of course. Well done, guys. When you've done your 30, stay on your mat. That's it. If you're still going, no problem at all. Well done. But we're nearly hitting that 50 second mark in two, in one. Brilliant job. Staying down. So we have done our two rounds of sweating. We're now going to go for our stretch, the best bit. I'm going to just change my music so that I don't make you swear stretch really super fast. That's it. So I'm going to still keep a kind of format for our stretch. It's really useful to kind of know how long we're holding our stretches. I think it's interesting. We always think we're holding them for a long time, but we're not. So we're going to hold our stretch for 45 seconds and then we're going to switch into the next move. Okay. So starting with the soles of our feet together, knees wide. You don't need to remember anything. I'll be doing it with you all the time. So we start off just propping, pressing those elbows into the knees. <sighs> Exhaling. And these first few will be quite a shock to the body to kind of bring everything down. Bring that heart rate down each time. And also holding the stretches for longer mean usually our body can kind of let go a little bit more towards the end of the stretch. Good. Let the head go maybe if the back of the neck would enjoy that. Mine certainly does. We're changing in two, in one. Well done. We're going to take our left leg out to the side reaching, sorry, our right leg, oh, it doesn't matter, whichever leg, <laughs> we're reaching 
up and over. Sorry, I thought I was going to mirror you, but I just did the same thing. So arm goes over the top. We get a nice side stretch here. We're resting our elbow onto our leg. Shoulders again, pulling down. Then you find that we're holding tension in funny places like our toes or your shoulders, not so much. We often hold tension there. So good. Enjoying that stretch out between the ribs. Well done. That's the heart rate comes down. So the joints feeling nice and mobile from all the exercises. Now we can try and uh, work the bits around. Come back to the middle and change to the other side. So we really capitalize on that warmth by taking a stretch over the top now. Noticing if it's different on this side to the other side. Good, maybe we start off in one position and by the time we get to the end, we find we're a little bit further towards our foot. Doesn't matter if we're not though. The exhales, again, helping our body to know it can relax. It doesn't need to hold on to any tension. Good. So we'd probably have come out of this stretch by now. And the top arm starts to actually feel a little bit painful for me. But really good for the side here. Again, bits we rarely use if we're, we're mostly moving forwards, sitting forwards. Good, coming back. We're going to stretch out the other leg now. So we're in our straddle position. We're going to bring our hands forward, elbows out to the side, and lean it forward. As the time progresses, maybe the elbows will come down. But we want to, where we can, try and keep a flat-ish back. So if that means you're up on your fingertips all the time, that's fine. If you need props, if you need to put a cushion underneath your hands or a box or a block, if you have one, then do. Well done. The sweat is literally pouring off me, it's crazy. That's <laughs> it. Well done. So keeping the knees facing the ceiling rather than rolling forward. Little toes trying to direct to the floor. Well done. Walk your way out of that. You're going to bring your legs together. So just in front of you, flexing the feet. Reach the arms forward. Hinge forward. Now, where your hands fall might be your toes. Might be your ankles, might be your knees. Then you're going to let the head go, deepening the stretch for your spine. Good. And then that position, that way you're holding may change. You might be sliding forward. You might want to ease out a bit if it's intense in any particular spaces. Exhaling again. Just letting you move into the stretch. Letting you feel a bit more comfortable in the stretch. Five more seconds, guys. And lovely. Up. You can't swing your legs around. Can you come into your four point kneeling position for me? Step your right leg forward and lean into your hip flexor stretch on the left side. If you need a bit of extra padding under your knees, roll that mat up underneath your knee. So on that diagonal line, left hip to left knee, rather than a vertical one. So you want to push the left hip forward. Good. If it feels better and more intense for you to tuck your toe underneath and come into a full lunge, please do. It changes, I find. Sometimes the knee down is actually more intense or more where I need to be. If you wanted to drop down to your elbows, you'd be welcome to. Well done. Maybe finding that you're easing into it, it's becoming more comfortable. Well done. Rock back. Curl the toes of that right foot up to the ceiling. Find your fingertips. Find your flat back. 
we get into our hamstring stretch on the right leg. Feel free to adjust, bring your leg in a little bit closer maybe, a little bit more in line. So when we do the hip flexor stretch, we tend to go a bit wider, that's fine. Then again, if you feel more comfortable, you can walk the hands forward as the stretch continues, intensifying that feeling down the backs of the legs. Well done. Just feeling the breath maybe becoming a bit more even now. As our hearts rate, our heart rates <laughs> come down. Good. Well done. You come, walk your way back up to a high kneeling position and step the left foot forward. Bring your hands down. Lengthen out into your hip flexor stretch on the right side. Well done. Again, finding that diagonal line. It might take a while to feel comfortable in the position. Super. Again, maybe dropping down or lifting up the knee, or dropping down forwards into onto your elbows if that works, or you want to give it a try. Five more seconds here. Good, ease your way back, curling the toes of the left foot up to the ceiling, maybe bringing that foot more towards the center of your mat. Good, hands or fingertips down on the floor or if we need to, onto our thighs. Good, we can again use any props, we can use our blocks underneath our hands to get into those hamstrings. Done. Maybe walking your hands forward, letting the head go, trying to keep a nice long spine and focusing on that feeling in the back of the front leg. Good. Holding this stretch for 10 more seconds. And lovely, we're gonna scoop forward. So we come to our pro, oh not pro, our supine oh. position. Take a lie down on the mat. You're gonna take your right leg and cross the right ankle onto the left knee, reach through the center, find that figure of four stretch. So plenty of options, you can stay here, or you could just leave the left hand behind and bring the right hand onto the right knee Pushing that right knee forward, pulling your left knee towards you. That might intensify, we're going for our glute stretch. I probably should have said that a little sooner. Good. Breathing in. Exhaling out. Good. We go for two more, one more. Pop that left foot down, stretch your right leg up to the ceiling. Another hamstring stretch, hold behind the right leg, bend at your elbows and gently pull that leg towards you. Maybe you slide your hands up higher, that feels better, but we don't want to lift your bottoms off the floor. Once you kind of establish your position, slide your left leg along and that's so you get a nice hip flex stretch on that left leg too. Good, that might mean you need to slide your hands back down again. Not a problem. Good. Well done team. Hopefully the heart rate has come down now. We're going to keep holding this stretch for a few more seconds and then we're going to bend that right knee take our right arm up by our ear hold on to the right knee with the left hand 
We're going to guide that knee across our mats over to the left side of the mat, and we keep reaching the right arm up behind us. So we've got a twist in our lower body, and we try and reach back with that right hand, opening the shoulders. Good. So if you wanted some support for your knee, you could stack up some cushions underneath that knee so that you don't have to hold it. Or you could really help it to hold it. Well done. Keep holding there for me. Maybe getting a nice shoulder stretch too. Certainly I am. Good. And three, two, and back we come, switching sides. So left ankle comes onto the right knee now. We pull and reach through for our glute stretch. Maybe hanging out here, totally fine. Maybe taking our left hand onto our left knee, pushing forward, pulling that right thigh in. And press it forward. Use that breath once again to try and go a little further, a little deeper into our stretches. Good, relaxing that right foot down to the ground, extend the left leg up to the ceiling, bend at the elbows, gently pulling the leg in. And then once you're established with the leg in the air, stretch your right leg away. Sliding your hands up as needed or as wanted. Good. Finding that hamstring, maybe flexing the foot. Got a deeper stretch into the calves as well. Good. My leg's shaking a little bit. Feels so too. Nearly there. Good. Bending that knee. Taking the right hand onto the kneecap, taking your left arm up by your ear. Then you're going to push that leg over the top. That's it. Finding that lovely twisting feeling. Good. Really pulling the left shoulder back as you press the right hand into the outer thighs. Exhaling. Go. Good job, guys. Last 15 seconds here. Enjoy it. And well done. So gently ease your way back to the center. Hug your knees in, nod your head, and rock your way up to a seated position. Now swing those legs round. Find your four-point kneeling position. You're going to tuck your toes underneath and send those hips high into the downward dog, looking back to your feet, stretching out the backs of the legs. Good. Walk your hands up. Sorry, walk your feet up to your hands. Pull your hands back to your feet. Gently roll your way up. Good. Taking those arms out to the side one more time. Reaching them up by the ears on your inhale. Exhale, letting it go. Sweat and stretch is completed. And I certainly 
did both. <laughs> well done. Thank you so much.